So the reason for doing handstand, it's a very good reason for doing handstand, is that when you're in a handstand, the neck is in traction. The weight of the head uh, lightly pulls on the muscles of the neck. Now the first muscles that feel the weight of the head tend to be the weakest muscles. So when you're first starting, you might have a little bit of muscle tension in some of the areas. You can tell that there's work in the neck. And then as the neck becomes more uniformly strong, as those weak areas get stronger, you start finding they're willing to lengthen and then the head can just balance, can just hang plumb. So the reason for, for doing a, a handstand for average person, it's a nice way to take tension out of your neck. And we've even taken people with very severe neck problems, put them in a handstand, and they can immediately turn their head. Whereas before the, the handstand, uh, they might have a very small range of motion. For the average person, kicking into a handstand would be a little bit difficult, but if I put my feet roughly on the wall, place my hands down, fingers turned out, then you can easily go into a handstand by taking your foot about hip level. I've straightened my left leg, right foot about hip level, and then I step onto the wall. So what happens is the muscles of my shoulders and shoulder blades move into just the right position to balance the shoulders and release the neck. So this is a simple version of handstand. The closer the hands come to the wall, then it becomes a little more challenging to stay on the wall. But the advantage of that if, is if the hands are very close, so it becomes almost impossible to straighten the legs. You'll notice I have so much weight on my arms that I can take the feet down with some control. So that's the beginning handstand. In some cases, when individuals have problems with their wrist, what we'll do instead is we'll take the elbows down onto the floor hands about shoulder width apart. If they're tight in their shoulders, we may need to take the elbows a little wider than shoulder width. But if I have my hands in this position, then any wrist problem that you might be suffering with won't bother you while you're in this particular position. So it's a good way to begin to develop strength in the shoulders if there are wrist problems. The only difficulty with this particular position is there's not very much mobility in the shoulder. So actually trying to balance in that way with the elbows down uh, is less forgiving than having the arms straight. With the hands placed about shoulder width, you can either have the hands down but to give added stability, one can take a block, place the crease of the wrist at the near side of your block. Fingers hanging off, and this gives great stability, greater stability, simply by placing your hands against the block. So, when you go into your handstand, it will be a little bit easier for people who are just starting.